Hello everybody, welcome to the start of my April collective haul. Quite a bit to go ahead and start this haul off with. I have three sticker shops, two wax shops, very excited. Um, the both the wax shops were pre-orders and they came like at the same time and ugh, you know how it is when pre-orders come in, you get so hype. And I have a story about one of them. But anyway, let's get started with planner stuff. First and foremost, I have an order here from Fox and Pip. I have not ordered from Fox and Pip in a while, and I was late night Etsy scrolling, and they have all of their new releases for the past like two months organized in like Etsy sections. And it was so easy to just go through each section and like, and then at the end I just went through their entire shop because I was like, what else do I need? Um, but anyway, super excited to order from Fox and Pip. I'll show you guys what I get. Um, I have nowhere to put anything because I have two big wax boxes next to me. Okay, so this is my little thank you freebie. Super cute. You have like a little budgeting checklist and a calculator. A little Amazon package, 0 out of 10. Do not recommend. That's very cute. Is this like an apron? I don't think so. I think it's just like to mark the weather. Your order is on the way. Like DoorDash and a sale. Very cute. I have a freebie section. I can just throw that into. Um, I got a couple of the happy mini sheets. The first one here, here we go. I don't know, the names aren't on them, but this is like the makeup themed one. I thought it was really cute with like the perfumes and the powders and the mascaras. The cat naps, very cute, I need those. And then the book stacks, which I thought would be fun for maybe purchasing books because I don't buy more, or I do buy more than one at a time when I purchase, that's what I meant to say. Anyway, then I got the grannies because we are a bluey loving household. I love bluey. I think it's probably one of the best children's shows to like actually watch. I feel like it's very realistic. It's very cute. Um, there's situations that I feel like they, that most television shows don't touch on, they touch on. And it it's like really sad. And like I've cried multiple times watching bluey. It's very cute. Um, I love the grannies. The grannies makes me cackle. I think they're so funny. Also, real quick back to bluey. I'm pretty sure Bluey and Bingo are 100% Avery and Reagan. It's just, it's the same thing. But anyway, I got this. I don't know if I'm going to ever use these, but I just thought they were so cute and I needed to have them. I also think she has, um, like, die cuts, too, that I might go back and purchase. I also got the Pink Box cookies, which are the Crumble cookies, which are very cute. I haven't gotten Crumble in a really long time, but I have been wanting it. The book genres, again, I thought these would be really cute to mark starting a new book. So, like, romance, fantasy, murder, and mystery grandparents fox and pips grandparent stickers um look more hip i suppose although all of my children's grandparents um aren't graying quite yet i still think it's very cute to mark that i got the tis the season i thought this was a really fun assorted sheet of all of the holidays and situations and things throughout the year i thought that would be really fun to have and then i got the this much stickers in both the brunette child and the blonde child to mark avery and reagan because i just thought they were really cute and i wanted to have them so that was my cute small little order here from fox and pip next up i have an order here from stick with the plan co i have not ordered from stick with the plan co in so long they actually have a website now um which is a lot easier to maneuver but I got, maybe, was it posted on their Instagram that they um, came out with like a neutrals collection and I was like, oh, I kind of want some of these because the stickers are typically like bright pink, bright blue, bright yellow, bright purple, and neutrals are where it's at. So definitely wanted to grab some of those. So here is the like journaling card, which is super cute. I love that. And then I have the little freebie, which is a springtime freebie. You have some light pastel haired girls, which are very cute. I love the little bunnies like peeking. Oh, it's so cute. Cuddled up next to the carrot. Um, and then some of her little characters down here. I don't remember what they're called. Squidges, maybe? I think that's actually right. So then I did get some of the neutral sheets. And some of these are reformatted to be smaller. Maybe, maybe I just imagined that. Um, but I'm very excited. So this is like the cooking ones. The workout, like weightlifting ones. Shopping. I could always use more shopping stickers meal prep or just cooking cutting carrots you know all that <clears throat> excuse me reading if you can't see sorry i feel like i'm going through these quite fast headaches and then this is like sticker organization or playing with stickers but i use these to mark order filling at work so went ahead and grabbed those that was my little neutrals order from stick with the plan co next i have kind of a larger order from crest press i haven't ordered kits or anything in a while but there was a couple of kits i was interested in as well as some foil bundles 
Uh, so first and foremost, I got two of the Dragonfly foil bundles, one in gold and one in silver. I said this in a recent plan with me, which you should have already seen. It should have been up at like the beginning of the month. But when she comes out with foil bundles, I need to just remember to just grab them because I did not purchase the Daisy maybe a uh, foil bundle when it came out in that like fun color and it sold out by the time I was like I really need that and so um I just decided to grab these I have no specific kit in mind yet for these but I thought you know might as well get them so I do get them in the mini size if they are um a core foil color just because I have enough bougie boxes so it's just three sheets here so you have these super cute full boxes I'm obsessed with these Here's your bottom washi headers and like deco bits page. And then you have scripts, a weekend banner, some fun icons, um, the whole reinforcers and some date squares. So like I said, I got these in gold and silver. I don't know. I don't feel like I needed them in hollow or rose gold, but who knows? I probably should have, you know, I probably will learn my lesson again in the future. And then I got another foil bundle. I just got one of these to go with one of the kits. Maybe I should have got two, but it's all good. This is the Glimmer foil bundle. I'm not quite sure what color this is in. It's like a bright, fun orange though, to go with one of the kits, like I said. And I did get this in a mini kit because the full kit was sold out, which is kind of a bummer because I don't have the bougie boxes. But I was like, you know what? I can probably just get some Planet Hannah underlays that will match this color, I have my little cheat sheet right here. Um, her like orange is pretty good. Yeah, I, I'll be fine. And she has more colors coming out, so I'll totally be fine. So here is the full boxes. Um, yeah, and then the headers, washi, the deco bits are cute. And then the same thing, so. It's like an orangey, I might even be able to pull some of the bonfire bougie boxes if I like really wanted that, but we'll see. So I got this foil bundle, like I said, to go with one of the mystery kits that she just released. This was her March mystery in hot mess. I had no plans to pick this up and then I saw Domi haul it and I was like, kind of need that. So again, I don't know when I'll use this. It's a very good anytime kit, but anyway, so I did get the 15 millimeter strip. I'm just going to switch these really quickly. <gasps> these colors are so bright. They printed so beautifully. Oh, I love this. So like I said, this is called Hot Mess. So if you have the pizza falling off the couch, your heels broken, things are broken, the battery's dying, to-do list is not even filled out, coffee cup, like everything's just like a mess. And the keys are missing, that's so funny. And the cord's broken. Oh my god, I'm not this bad, but like I could be. But I just thought it was so fun and almost very realistic for people and I just really liked it. So that's the full boxes. Here's that deco page again. These colors are really, really nice. I do get her, not her like ultimate, ultimate kit, but it's a step down because it doesn't have the um, ombre heart checklist. I love these patterns. Like I said, these colors are so, I love these two colors or these three colors together. There's that little things page. Oh, I guess I got the full kit. Maybe the one down, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The step down wasn't available, it was sold out, which is weird, cause like you could just toss this, but whatever, I'm sure they were already pre-collated. So I have that. And then look at these fashion girls. She got a little gas can, it was so fun. I love black hair on girls, it's so perfect, but I probably will use the brunette. Oh well, I'm obsessed. Um, again, I have absolutely no need right now for this kit, but I'm in my, I wanna buy everything phase and I'm just going with it. So that was the March mystery hot mess kit. And then I saw this and I really liked it. I actually have a kit I might switch this out for cause this is super cute. This is called sunny side up. Let's get everything out of here. So this is like an extra, I think like freebie cause they're probably a different skin tone in here but this is super cute. And then I have the like tall brunette that I purchased. I also love this color, a uh, 15 millimeter strip. And then I'm just gonna kind of switch it again really quick. Oh my God, these colors, these printed so beautifully. I'm obsessed, sorry. I love this. This is so fun, so bright. I love the like banana peel candle. That's adorable. Oh yeah, so you could just switch that out. Uh, the cowgirl, cowboy, cow boots, who knows? The sunny side up 
neon sign i love that kitchen this is just so fun and exciting and bright and i feel like this would be a great spring summer kit i love these colors giving me all the like 90s vibes which oh my god i'm obsessed with this is so fun oh feet oh they're so cute oh this was a mystery kit or no what is this is this a new format it might be okay i've never seen all this before um Oh my god, I love that washi. This is so fun. So this is the Sunny Side Up kit from Crest Press. Uh, this is fun. I have a kit I picked out, but I might switch it out for this. I don't know. It's so cute and fun and exciting. And, you know, I love fun and exciting kits. I'm actually going to put these on the back side. So that was my order from Crest Press. Let me show you everything. There you go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get into wax. We're starting with Rose Girls. So I did, she did a pre-order. I participated um, I got a lot of stuff because I had placed an order previously, decided that I loved it, and was like, I'm going to order because half of the pre-order scents were amazing. So I have the thanks for your order little business card here. I also have a freebie here. Oh my gosh, this freebie, 10 out of 10. We'll definitely purchase this if I ever find it. Strawberry Coconut Pineapple Pound Cake. This is top tier. Oh my god. Pineapple and pound cake mixed together is so, what in the heck? Fantastic. Obsessed with that. Okay, so I did get one of their little like bundles and then I got a bunch of their mini melters. I'll start with the mini melters that I got. Okay, yes. So, oh, and these are also fun. Look how colorful, I'm obsessed. First one here is in blueberry cheesecake and French toast. I just love the colors of these. Oh my gosh. So I'm not getting much of the French toast, if at all. Maybe a hint of like maple syrup, but the blueberry cheesecake is so prominent. I'm a huge fan of blueberry cheesecake, so this is good stuff, good stuff. Next, look at these colors. So fun, so pretty. This is carbs in cotton candy cookie land. Carbs is cookies, donuts, bread, cot or cookies, donuts, and bread. And then cotton candy frosting toffee butter scotch pretzels and confetti cake i think that's just the whole blend i don't care this smells just top notch so sweet with like that base of the carbs which is like very bready Ugh. i'm so 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 happy with these orders by the way okay this one is so fun look at these Halloween colors. Oh, I'm obsessed. I saw somebody, I think it was Krista from K Marie Plans haul this. It had to have been like a year ago. And I've always had it in like the back of my brain. And when I saw this, I was like, I need to have it. Carbs with ghoul friends. This is pumpkin sugar donuts, cookies, bread, vanilla bean noel, nilla wafers, monster cookie, and marshmallow smoothie. This is so good. I can't even like, I don't even know how to be an accurate description because like these are all very accurate and they smell so good. And it's just like, oh, this is such a good blend. I really love this. Really, really like that. Okay, next up again, these colors. So fun and exciting. This is Circus Concession, which is Macintosh Madness, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Funnel Cake. This pre-order was top tier. They have a pre-order open right now that I, I swear I looked at the list three times and each of the time I was like, you know what? I'm good. So I passed each time. But this this pre-order, this current one, whew, so good. I like, mm -mm. I needed to have all of these. These are so good. Okay. Next up, this is one. This was my oddball. I just wanted to try it. It's called Don't Be Salty, Cucumber Rain, and Salty Sea Air. I'm a huge fan of Salty Sea Air. Huge fan of cucumber and I love rain scents. So I was like, you know what? This will be my weird oddball because typically you guys know I go for bakery or fruity. And this is really nice. Very masculine, a little bit earthy, but I feel like this would be a really nice scent to kind of break up, like I said, all of my bakery fruity goodness. Next up I have oh, pretzel day. I'm so hype on this. Cinnamon sugar, peanut butter, and pretzels. I want to make this myself because this is so good. Or I'll just buy a loaf of hers. I don't even care at this point. Oh, this is so good. I'm sorry if I'm obnoxious, but this is literally so good. I don't smell any peanut butter, but I am sure that comes out on warm. Very excited for that one. Next up, I have a fun pink one. This is Huckleberry Cheesecake Pie. If y'all watch my wax videos y'all know i love huckleberry this is huckleberry's cheesecake and pie crust 
Huckleberry is just such a top tier scent. I cannot thank Emily from M's Crafty Corner enough for introducing Huckleberry to my life. It is everything I never knew I needed. This one, look at this color. These are so fun. This is Sunset in July. Oh, this is another fun one. Cherry Berry Punch, Blue Hawaiian, Satsuma, and Pineapple. Very summer. Oh, yes. This is such a summery bright. That cherry is so prominent. And you know what's funny is Satsuma is such a like scent note that if you put it in anything, it takes over the blend. I smell no Satsuma. It is very cherry, very pineapple, which I like. It makes me excited. I, I'm interested to see what the blend smells like on warm. Okay, and then my last mini melter, which also, by the way, I had a bunch of these included at the bottom of my box, which I think is really nice because I believe in the last... Maybe it was a ready to ship. A lot of people's bags were ripping. So just to include a couple extra just in case is so kind. I really appreciate that. This is my last um, mini melter. This is fireside cookies with cream cheese frosting, marshmallow fireside, royal sugar cookies, and cream cheese frosting. Oh, 10 out of 10. This is really good. I really like that. Okay, so those are all the mini melters. And then like I said, I did get a little like bundle i don't know what are these called i know what they're called i just can't think right now i'm just trying to put all these back in a nice way i cannot wait to melt these these are gonna be so fun i might have to get like a rose girl's drawer going in my collection with how much i currently have okay so this was like a i don't know why the word isn't coming to me but here it is so let's go through each of these i don't remember if this was like I think this was like a bakery bundle, potentially. I'm not sure. Um, first up, so there's a couple scents in here that I already have, but I'm like happy to have more of. So this is Cookie Land. I do have a mini melter of this already. It's fantastic though, so I'm very happy to have more. I also have Carbs too. Carbs and Cookie Land, I believe, are like her two best selling, but it's always good to have more. That's amazing. That's very bready. Oh, I love a good bread scent. Next, I have Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs, which is another one I've heard a lot about. Is this maybe, I think it's bakery, but it might also be like their customer favorites. I don't know. This is really nice. Very, very bakery. Y'all know my favorites. This next one is called Jumping on Clouds. Hmm. I wish I knew what these scent notes were. This is really good. Maybe it's like some pistachio or something. That's really nice. Next we have Dunk My Donut Cup of Cake Noel. Oh, this is top notch. That might be my favorite out of this like bundle. And then the last one here is called Opposite of Keto. It's gotta be all bread. <laughs> that is so good. All right, so that is everything that I have from Rose Girls. I am so, so happy with everything I've gotten from Rose Girls. I haven't melted a single thing yet. I need to get on that. It's just so far back in my collection. But that's everything that I have to show you from Rose Girls. Next up, I have my order here from The Pharmacist's Daughter. And this was a pre-order as well. This one has a slight story. I did not think I was going to get this package. So it was marked as delivered yesterday. And yesterday was Saturday. And so I went and checked the mail. It said delivered to a parcel locker, which we have those. And I was like, okay, cool. I checked my mail. There's no key. I'm instantly in a panic. Our mail person is just not great. And I've talked about it before. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, it got delivered to the wrong mailbox. Somebody else is going to get this package. And I have no faith in humanity whatsoever. I'm like, well, I just gave pharmacist daughter a new customer or it went in someone's trash. So I went through all of the stages of grief yesterday and this morning. I was so sad all day yesterday, like very upset to the point where I was just ranting to Brian about how sad I was that I wasn't going to get this package. And then this morning I woke up and I went through the acceptance. I was like, okay, someone's gonna enjoy Ro or Pharmacist's Daughter and that's okay. You know, obviously this has nothing to do with the vendor. I would have just ate the money and been sad and it's okay because I hate my mail person. And by the grace of 
life, pharmacist's daughter, I'll put it in their hands, it got delivered to our neighbors across the street. And our neighbors across the street are the kindest souls on the planet. And he came over and he dropped it off and he knocked on our door. And Brian went out there and he was like, you don't understand, my wife is so happy, blah, blah, blah. I was like jumping up and down. I could have cried, I was so happy. Cause I, this is a pre-order and I was like so sad I was gonna miss out on these things. So long story short, here's their business card. Their restock was March or April, gosh, first. Love Pharmacist's Daughter. I have had nothing but good experiences with Pharmacist's Daughter of the things that I have melted, great throw, um, everything. So this, like I said, was a pre-order. I got three things. I got their fan favorites bundle, their 80s baby bundle, which was my wild card, and their um, bakery bundle. So this just came this morning, technically yesterday, but I'm so hyped. So I have three freebies. The first one here is in room service. Oh, I do not like that one at all. Very like eucalyptus. Not what I like. Uh, the next one here is in thumbprint cookies. That's amazing. Really like that one. Very bakery. Y'all know again what I like. And the last one I'm really excited about. This is strawberry birthday cake. Oh, that is so good. Top tier. So they don't really have anything organized in here. I'm just going to kind of pull it random, but... It's gonna be fun and exciting, so let's get started. Um, I Like I said, these are the uh, bundles, so it comes with three packs. Oh, mine kinda broke, that's all good. It's wax, it's fine. Um, three packs of these like little snap bars, which is really cute. This first one is in Lemon Drop, which is lemon curd, lemon sugar, marshmallow fluff, and sugar waffle cone. I really love this. I'm not a huge fan usually of lemon curd, but this is pretty good. I actually really like that one. I'll just start my little piles here. Next up, I have Not Just a Headache, which Brian really liked this one. This is lavender and peppermint. I'm gonna definitely save this one. This is gonna be one of the ones that I save to not melt, even if I blind pull it in a melting basket and just melt when we're sick because pretty top tier. Oh, most of these are broken. They weren't broken when I pulled them out, were they? I, melt I smelled these already, it's okay. Well, they're all broken like the spots I need them to be, so that's good. Um, this one I've heard a lot of good things about. This is King Cake. This is Morning Beignet, French Custard, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. Oh, yeah. Heard about this one for a good reason. This is pretty great. Next one here is Strawberry Birthday Cake. Ah, oh, I have that one. This is Strawberries Birthday Cake and Buttercream Frosting. Yep, that's amazing. Love that one. Um, the next one I have here is Five Flavor Pound Cake. This is another one I've heard a lot about. Oh, I'm out of focus. I'm so sorry. Come back to us. Hold on, let me fix this. Sorry about that. I didn't notice it was out of frame, or out of frame, out of um, focus for a minute, so hopefully it wasn't too terrible. This is Five Flavor Pound Cake, which is another one I've heard quite a bit about. This is White Cake, Lemon, French Vanilla, Coconut, Almond, and Sugar Cookie. Oh yeah, that is really nice. That's all, I think that's all I'm gonna say about everything. Oh, that's really nice, because it is. It just all smells so good. Next up, we have Beans and Cream, which I think I already have this, but who cares? This is Coffee House Marshmallow Sweet and Creamy Coconut Shortbread Cookies. That's amazing. I knew when purchasing the like fan favorites that I would probably have some that I've already purchased. There was another one that I wanted to get too. I think it was like the coffee house sampler, but a lot of those I already had. And I was like, yeah, I can't justify this, but I almost purchased it. This one I'm excited about. This is blueberry waffles. I love the color. This is blueberry cobbler, ice cream scoop bread, and vanilla ice cream. Mmm, top tier. I love blueberry. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. That's so good. Next, I have R.I.P. Blackberry Jam, Zucchini Bread, Funnel Cake, and Jelly Donut. The Jelly Donut is so strong in this. That's so good. I don't smell anything else. I just smell Jelly Donut. I really love that. Um, next, I have Hole in One. This is Zucchini Bread, Blackberry Jam, and Jelly Donut. So this one just doesn't have the funnel cake. This one actually smells a little bit heavier on the zucchini bread. Is someone in my house? I hope not. I'm here alone, so let's hope not, you know? Uh, next, I have freshly baked. This is coffee house, pie crust, zucchini bread, and funnel cake. I think I have this already too, actually. Oh, but it's so good. Their funnel cake's good too. Really love that one. 
Then I have Dance Fever. This is cinnamon roll with icing, white cake, and vanilla buttercream. Oh, that is so cinnamony. Oh, that is, I love cinnamon. So this is not, I love that, that's so good. Um, next I have Arcade Era. This is a cream soda, cotton candy, and summer scoop. Honestly, all I smell is the summer scoop, which makes me very happy. I was a little bit nervous about that cream soda scent, but that's very nice. Then we have Big Hair, Big Dreams. This is Pink Sugar, Driftwood, and Saltwater Princess. This is a little bit more perfumey than I would like. I knew when getting the 80s baby bundle that it was going to be like out of my comfort zone for some of them. So I knew some of them would be a little strange. I definitely will probably melt that, but I don't know if it's like my favorite thing. This next one is Coke Cake, which is funny. I actually have this melting right now, and it's a lot. It's cola, white cake, brown sugar, marshmallow, fluff, and vanilla. It's good. It just throws so much. And it smells so, that one's really strong too. It smells so strongly of Coca-Cola that it's just, it's weird. Like we did a Coca-Cola scent too, and I like it, but I definitely think it needs to be blended with something because it's just a lot. This next one here is Cookie Exchange. This is Summer Scoop Type Sugar Cookie Royale Coconut Shortbread Cookies. I really like the coconut shortbread cookies. Mm, that's very soft, very bakery. Really enjoyed that one. Next up, we have Meet Me at the Mall, Pink Lemonade and Bum Bum Type. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Oh yeah, that is so good. I love a good pink lemonade scent. We just did one and it was incredible. I would love to just melt 10,000 of them. They smell so good. This is in 7-Up Pound Cake, which is Vanilla Pound Cake, 7-Up Pound Cake, Pineapple, Coconut, Vanilla Buttercream. Mm, just like 7-Up Pound Cake. Absolutely amazing. These are so fun. I need to chill it with wax buying and I have a huge L3 order on the way too. It's just I've been like reinvigorated again and I just can't stop. Take a chill pill. This is lavender, rain, orange, jasmine, and violet. Oh, I don't know if I like this one. That's a lot. Again, we'll melt it, but it's a lot. Sticky buns, cinnamon buns, ice cream scoop bread, buttercream crunch cake. Oh, once again, that's fantastic. Love that. Next, I have strawberry shortcake, strawberry pound cake, glazed donuts, and vanilla ice cream. That donut scent is so good. So good. Love that. Next is cut loose, foot loose. This is seagrass and sand dunes, bamboo, sugar cane, and citrus. This one's not terrible. I actually like that one. It gives me very like summer at the beach vibes. I don't even have anywhere else to put these things. Okay, two more, right? Yes. This is MTV, margarita, white cake, and buttercream frosting. Oh, I love this. Oh, that is so good. So limey. Oh, I love that. Okay, and last but not least for this part of the haul, I have French lemon tart, which is lemon chiffon, pie crust, French custard, and lemon sugar. There's so many like oranges and yellows and browns. Mm, that's top tier. Very good. Love a good lemon bakery. Okay, that's it from the pharmacist's daughter and that is it for this first part of the haul. I apologize. I had one more. I had coconut zucchini bread. This is zucchini bread, coconut shortbread cookies, and coconut cream pie. I feel like I've smelled this before. It's amazing. I'm so sorry. I was putting all these away and I saw it. Now it's it. Now that's the first part of the haul. Alrighty, I am back for the, I think, second and final part of this haul. I just have one thing to show you. Um, I think I'm ending this April, is it April? Monthly haul a little early just because I want to upload it this week. Which is totally fine because I don't have stuff, more stuff? I don't know. I haven't really been ordering. Anywho, so I have an order here to show you from L3 Waxy Wonders. It's a little bit bigger because I always say this, but I feel like I haven't ordered in a while. And they just have like, their list was so good of stuff. There's actually, I think a list started right now for in the next like restock and I'm just ignoring it because I saw like 10 things on there that I was like, ooh, those look really nice. And I'm like, you know what? Just take a breather for a second. So like I said, I have a pretty massive L3 order next to me. It comes with like some sort of candy every time and every time I open it, I just toss the candy to whichever child is closest to me. Um, but I do have a sticker here that says, if you are positive, you'll see opportunities instead of obstacles. So very wonderful there. I also have some freebies. 
I don't even know if I smelled these. I truly don't remember. Um, this first one's a snowman, which is cute. Lemongrass, lemon verbena. This will probably be a really nice spring summer scent. Mmm, yeah. It smells like lush. Definitely the lemongrass, but it smells good. I really like that one. This is cute. A little candy. This is an Aquaman. I do not know the scents for this one, but I'm gonna assume it smells like a sexy man. Oh, it kind of smells like blue sugar. And yeah, it's a little bit more masculine. It's pretty nice, actually. Like that. I'm gonna like all these freebies. This is Strawberry Sugar Sugar Cookie Royale. It's just a little square, but I mean, it works. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Love those. I need to drink water really quick, I apologize. Okay, so this was my first time ordering where I only got two, but I ordered the big loaves, which I typically don't do unless um, it's a scent I really, really love, especially with all three, because I feel like they're big, big loaves. Always are so many good scents, but I've never tried them, so I get nervous, and I'm like, I don't want to buy a million, but like, maybe I do. And then I bought a bunch of Bitty Betties, some fluted tarts, just a whole bunch of stuff. I'm actually really excited to go through everything with you. So I also have some cloud cakes here. So let's start with the cloud cakes. Um, I think I only have three. Yes, I only have three cloud cakes. The first one I'm really excited about, I'm waiting to see a loaf in this. This is cookie therapy. I have a, I think I might have a couple other things in my collection of cookie therapy, but I melted cookie therapy recently and it's top tier. It's really good from L3. It's Santa's on Keto, which I don't know what that is, but you can look that up on their site. Pretzel and sugared shortbread. The only option I had for this, with this restock time was the cloud cake. So I just grabbed it because like, it's such a good scent. Oh my God, it is so like, to me, it's just like quintessential bakery. I just really love that. So that smells amazing. The next one I got here was um, Sweetie Pie Zucchini Bread, which is Sweetie Pie's Pink Frosted Animal Cookies, Monster Jam, and Sugar Cookie Royale. I do not know what Monster Jam is. These cloud cakes are really pretty. Look at these. They look like little soaps. They're so pretty. Mmm. Yeah, it smells very strawberry. I mean, it's great. I love a good strawberry. So, really like that. And then the last, um, I'll just put these here. The last uh, cloud cake I got is this really pretty blue. This is in blueberry muffin, cheesecake, and funnel cake. Ugh, which again, all my favorite scents. Mmm. It's like... To me, it smells very heavy blueberry muffin. I don't really smell any of the funnel cake, so I kind of hope that comes out on warm or with cure time because that smells amazing. Let's go ahead and do um, fluted tarts. I have a bunch of them. This one here is, I'm really excited for this one. I love this color too. Um, amaretto brown sugar pound cake and zucchini bread. The amaretto is so wonderful in this. I love it. They had this one, like, that's why it's, it's annoying because they had it, like, the way they packaged, which was, it, they packaged so nicely, but they had it, like, crumpled up so that way it would fit in the packaging. So this one's a little wild, but it's all good. The next one I have, I've melted this before as a sample and really enjoyed it. It's called Eight Crazy Nights. It's blackberry jelly fry, blackberry, blackberry jelly fried dough and a hint of campfire smoke. This color is also very pretty mm. this is so interesting to me because it smells very fruity very um bakery but then you do get that like smoky note which i never thought i would like but i actually really do enjoy it in that so love that we also had a scent in the past which was like a caramel pipe tobacco and i just felt like it was so good it sounded weird but it was just so nice this is, again, these colors are so pretty. This is wild berry mousse, zucchini bread, sugar corn pudding. I'm a huge fan of sugar corn pudding. Mm. This is very heavy sugar corn pudding, zucchini bread. Top tier. Love that. Oh, next we have, I'm so happy. These are all just so exciting. I opened this like a week ago and I'm just like so happy to be smelling these again. This is strawberry pound cake toasted mallow pumpkin pecan waffles. I have like, I feel like my, I've reignited my love for pumpkin pecan waffles. It's just so good. 
Oh my god, this is so heavy on the pumpkin pecan waffles. The strawberry is like a very light under note, but that is just like top tier. This is called Fangs. This is wildberry mousse, blueberry cereal, and pie crust. Blueberry is one of my favorite scents. It's like blueberry and strawberry mix. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. I'm sorry, I'm being obnoxious and making a ton of noises, but like, that's so good. I really like that one. I'm just making a beautiful stack right here. And then my last uh, four pack fluted tarts is called Anticipation. I feel like this is a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, like reference. These, is this like ombre? It's so pretty. I think it is. Um, yeah, it's gotta be. Apple butterscotch cake, sea salt, caramel, and pretzel. Oh, I love apple butterscotch cake. I love sea salt. I love caramel. I love pretzel. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, the apple butterscotch cake is so prominent. Ugh, it's so good. Love those. So those are my fluted tarts. Then I got a bunch, like I said, of the Bitty Betties. Because they're so easy to um, burn through. These like little Bitty Betties, I can get eight melts out of. Well, technically I can get eight out of these too. Because I cut them in half. But I can get eight out of these. So the first one I got should not be a shock to you. It is Hufflepuff Brown Sugar. Another... L3 staple that I am obsessed with is Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. I feel like anything I see with Hufflepuff, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I gotta get that one. Oh, yeah, it's just so top tier. It's fantastic. The next one I got is, oh, my God, this is gonna stain my warmers, but it's literally so beautiful. It's called If These Dolls Could Talk, Fresh Picked Strawberries, Cotton Candy, and Strawberry White Cake. Oh, so strawberry. So delicious. All I really smell is the um, strawberry white cake, but like, <laughs> I'll take it. And the next one I have is butter brickle pumpkin pecan waffles. Like I said, with the um, Hufflepuff, if I see pumpkin pecan waffles, I like definitely do, do a double take because I want to see what the other options are with it because it just smells so good. And butter brickle is really good too. Butter brickle is very like, to me, it gives off a very like maple syrupy kind of vibe. I really like it. Next one is a little bit away from my, as you can clearly tell, my bakery love. This is pineapple salty sea air. Huge fan of pineapple, huge fan of salty sea air. And I figured I should probably try and get a couple different scents in there, you know, but it's hard sometimes. Mm. This is so pineapple-y. It's like, oh my God. I love the way a fresh pineapple smells. And that's really what this smells like. And then you definitely do get that like hint of salty sea air. So I think that's going to be a really good combo then on warm. Here's another one I had as a sample that I freaking love. Um, which is so funny because the 8 Crazy Nights and this Christmas bonus. When I got them as samples, it was literally just like this Aquaman sample. It didn't have any scent notes on it. So I went searching for it and I was like, oh yeah, of course. So this is Christmas bonus, which is Jelly of the Month Club. Strawberry, raspberry, blackberry jellies served over sweet bread. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Oh, it's so good. It's like everything I love in like the fruity world. Amazing. And then the last bitty buddy I have here is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, cream cheese frosting. I don't know if I've ever had anything with a cream cheese frosting before. I'm sure I have. This is so good. Very pumpkin pecan waffles, very cream cheese. I love that. So those are all the bitty buddies. And then last but not least, I have two basic betties which are the bigger loaves the first one here is roasted coffee pumpkin pecan waffles cookie therapy pumpkin pecan waffles cookie therapy i had to and even coffee scent mixed with it like come on so it's a big loaf here's the comparison so i can get like eight melts out of these i get a lot of melts out of the bigger loaves mm, very heavy on the coffee right now but i definitely do smell the pumpkin pecan waffles love that and then the last loaf that i got oh this is such a sweet baby. This is Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls and Zucchini Bread. Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls is strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. This combo is everything. Oh my god, it's perfect. The Zucchini Bread even stands out, which is so good because Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls is one of my favorite scents blends from L3. So that is going to be it for my April haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.